Hey guys, it's Connor here from the design team at SolarTex. I've got with me today Damien from the engineering department at Enphase. They've just unveiled their new battery, 5 kilowatt battery, along with their IQ8 inverters. And we've got a couple of questions to ask him regarding these. First thing would be, what do most customers forget to consider when buying a battery? The first thing they forgot is about the reliability of the batteries. Getting a product which is safe and reliable over the years, that's the most important. And something that is really unknown about the batteries is the C-rate. Our batteries do offer a C-rate of 0.6. And what does the C-rate mean for those that don't realize? It's the difference between the capacity of the battery, which is 5 kilowatt hours in a case, regarding the output power of the battery, which is 3.2 kilowatt for our battery. And so you say this battery has a C-rating of 0.6? Yeah. So a 5 kilowatt battery will allow you to discharge at 3.2 kilowatts? And for a typical battery, what's the typical C rating? Uh, it would be around uh, 0.2. So triple the most batteries on the market. And when it comes to just an overall solar system, what do customers need to consider about maybe the panels they're choosing or even the installer? What's one of the most important things? The quality. When you're installing an AC system or mostly a PV system, what you want to have is a reliable system that is going to last over the years and not something that's going to work for five years or where you're going to have issue or maintenance. So that's really important about when you choose your installer or your system to get people who do the quality. So a big debate at the moment in the renewable space is the choice between a DC coupled battery and an AC coupled battery. In your opinion, why is it better to opt for an AC coupled system, especially the Enphase one? It's better to choose for an AC coupled system because you won't be limited to the hybrid inverter uh, capacity. In an hybrid inverter capacity, if it's five kilowatt, even if you got more PV or battery, you will be limited for the hybrid inverter output. While with an AC coupled system, you will have the capacity of the PV being adds up to the capacity of the storage. So if you got a three kilowatt system on your roof, and you got one battery of 3.2 kilowatt, in total, you will have uh, 6.2 kilowatt available. So you mentioned that this battery has six micro inverters built in. What is the purpose of having six? Why not just have one? It removed the single point of failure. So if there is one of these microinverter failing, it doesn't mean that the battery is not working. It will just reduce the output power by the power of one microinverter. And our typical systems, they only have one of these. So essentially, this is six times more reliable. Would that be fair to say? Uh, yeah, that's fair to say. For example, for an hybrid inverter, if you're losing your hybrid inverter, then you lose your PV and the battery. While here, if you lose one microinverter inside the battery, you just lose a certain percentage of your battery capacity which is offering a more reliable system. Okay, so the inverter itself is one of the main points of failure in most solar systems. And often if the, it goes down, everything goes down. In this case, it's got six potentials. So all six have to go down for this system to fail. And that's, these have what, a one in 2000 chance? Uh, one in uh, 2000 chance of going down. So it's very unlikely that you'll lose your entire system. Okay, Damien, so the battery looks good. Sounds good so far. Can you talk me through a little bit about the architecture of the system and how it's built? Sure, so here we've got the DC cells, here we've got the removable cover where there is the connector and the BMS. Here is the DC switch where you turn on and off the battery. And here are the six microinverters which are used to the power transformation. Of the six inverters connected, only five are in use. So if ever there is one to be failing, then remotely the spare inverter will be put in action and the other one will be removed. So without you feel it or without any action from the installer to come to your place, the battery will remain at the full power. So to clarify with a typical battery, not an end phase battery, if the inverter was to fail, you'd have to wait for someone to come out, bring in spare parts. In this case, you can actually fix it remotely and the system will work to full capacity. Yes, it will remove all the pressure on the installer because it doesn't need to go back on site and to service it within the next few hours. It just can rely on it and say, OK, it's going to be serviced remotely. And even if after something else happened, it's still a percentage of the battery which is not working. So it's a lot of pressure off the installer and the homeowner. OK, and in terms of the likelihood of one of these failing, did you say it was, what was the percentage? One for 2000. So there's a one in 2000 chance that this fails. And if it, that did happen, you'd already have another spare here in the first place. Okay. And then, so regarding the battery casing, um, we can see there's a couple of dents here. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, it's been traveling on the world show all over the country. The logistics have been a bit tough with it, but you see it still stands. And if maybe later, it could be possible to buy a replacement. Okay. So this casing itself is very robust. I can knock it, no dents. I think just in this case, it's been all around the country on various roadshows, been transported in a DHL van, um, and it's got a couple of dents. But 
They should be available to buy. If your in-home system gets dented, you can replace this at much less cost than buying a new battery, which is something only Enphase offers at the moment. If you found this video helpful, make sure to show your support by giving it a thumbs up and hitting that like button right below. Your likes help us reach more people and spread the word about sustainable energy solutions. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family and anyone else who might be interested in the amazing possibilities of solar technology. For more exciting content on solar PV and the latest innovations in this field, make sure to subscribe to our channel.